everyone and welcome to today's video my name is Kenzie if you did not know that now you know and you guys today we're going to be doing a full face of first impressions uh, trying out some new makeup that I have found over the past couple of weeks I'm actually really excited about it because some of this stuff I've been waiting to try for like months <laughs> so first up here I have the one and only KVD vegan beauty good apple foundation now mind you this is not gonna be my actual skin tone <laughs> Uh, it's gonna be way too deep for me, but I've got the new bronzers from Patrick Ta, cream blush from Bare Minerals, I've got some new Morphe stuff, primer and concealer, and then I picked up this palette from Ulta, it's a ColourPop palette, it's called Good as Gold, so we're gonna try all of these today. And if you're new to this channel, then hello, I'm so happy to have you. Don't forget you and click the subscribe button to become part of this weird, awesome, amazing family. And I'll have my Instagram linked right up here and in the description if you want to check me out and give me a follow over on Instagram. I would really, really appreciate it. We're doing a lot of fun videos and reels and posts and stuff over there. And also follow me on TikTok as TikTok is popping and I do post daily over on TikTok. So, okay. So, first things first, what we'll start off with today, I honestly, do I want to do my makeup first or do I want to do my eyes first? Maybe I'll do eyes first. Just for, I mean, I normally do eyes first. I don't know what I'm talking about. My eczema is gotten a really bad on this side. So that's done. Let's go ahead and go into this palette. Here is what it looks like. It's super cute called Good As Gold. It's been a while since we've done a ColourPop palette. I don't know why, but the packaging is super cute. And then here's what it looks like inside. It's very, very gold. Um, I usually don't go this gold with my eyeshadows, but it looked really, really cute. And I was like, you know what? I want to I wanna give it a try. All right. So the first shade I'm going to go into is this one. Huh? See, normally I wouldn't do yellow, but maybe we'll try... I was saying I could do this one, State of Mind, but it's very, very light. There is this yellow one over here, which I could try. I'll try the yellow. It's called Trooper. I don't normally go into yellow like this for my eyes, but we'll give it a shot. It seems to be working really well. I get, you know, ColourPop is just one of those brands that, like, always work. <laughs> So there's that. It's very yellow. I normally would never wear you just like yellow like this, but you know, we're just, we're trying it out. We're trying something new. Next up, I'm going to go into the shade called Bold Rush, not Gold Rush, Bold Rush. Um, and I'm going to actually deepen up the crease just a little bit. I'm not going to do this too much just because I don't want this to be like my outer corner shade. I just want to deepen up the crease just a little bit. This one's working really nicely as well. It's very, very smooth. Next, I'm going to go into my outer corner shade. I'm going to go into this one called Big Brooch <laughs> right here. And I'm going to focus that on the outer corner and really deepen this up a bit. It's got really, really pretty shimmeries in it, but I don't think they're going to transfer that much out here just because, I don't know, they could transfer a bit, but normally when I use these like glittery kind of sequin shades, the glitters don't really transfer all that much. All right, well, I definitely love that. That was really, really nice. For my lid shade, I don't know what I wanna do. I, obviously, I want to use this shade called O-Team, A-Team, it's like A-U-Team. Then there's this other really pretty one. No, I don't wanna use that. Yeah, I think I'm gonna use the O-Team. A-Team, O-Team, I don't know. I don't know, you guys. This might be one of my favorite looks that I've done in a while. I was over here shitting on yellow in the beginning and now I'm just like, but it's real pretty. All right, so I'm done with my eyes for now. I will come back and do the bottom lash line a bit later, but I am gonna go ahead and move on to the face. For my primer, I'm gonna try this new one from Morphe. This is the Equalizer Foundation Primer. So we're gonna try this out. I feel like it's been a while since I've tried anything from Morphe, but here is what the packaging looks like. And very cute. Ooh, it's like very liquidy. 
you see that? Oh, it's very like silicone-y for sure. So this is definitely meant to be like a pore filling primer. For my foundation, you have no idea how excited I am about this. So let me tell you again, this is not going to match me because it is too dark for me. However, I did get one from Ulta that is actually my shade, but I don't have it yet. Um, here is what this looks like. I haven't actually used it yet. I have swatched it though, so you can tell that it is too dark. I got this one is in the shade medium 39. And um, yeah, so I'm just gonna use my. <laughs> I know this is gonna be too dark, but I don't know how too dark. And it's gonna be way too yellow. <laughs> So I'm kind of nervous. That's very yellow. Oh no! Oh wow. But wow, look at the coverage though. The coverage is great. I'm trying not to judge it based on the color because I got the wrong color. The only reason I even got this color is because every single one of them, every other one was out of stock at Sephora. But not judging it on that. I'm just gonna talk about what I think about the product, but so far, it looks really, really nice. Like it looks, I don't think it's supposed to be like hydrating or anything, but it looks really, really good. And I feel like you wouldn't need a lot of product to do your whole face. Wow, look at that. That looks so good. Maybe, I hope it looks good after, like, as I wear it. I feel like this shade would actually be good on me if I had a tan, but right now it looks terrible, but I don't have any kind of tan or anything. <laughs> okay, well, just, let's just pretend this matches me. Let's just pretend that this is an okay shade. It's definitely not. Um, it is not my shade. I think we can agree. Um, but I'm not gonna focus on that. I just want to focus on the coverage on the you know I'm not usually someone that wants a lot of coverage like I couldn't really I use like CC creams and BB creams and stuff all the time I feel like it looks really really nice like on the skin but since this foundation is so yellow I feel like it's blending into my eyeshadow Okay, I think that's a little bit better. It's a little more, that's a bit better. It's turning it a tiny bit more uh, my shade. So hopefully, I'm just gonna do like a tiny little dot there and a tiny dot on my forehead as well. Cause I think that concealer really did help. Oh yeah, for sure. That concealer helped a lot. It's definitely not as bad as it was before. Awesome, so that's great. I'm gonna go ahead and set my under eyes just a tiny little bit with my Pat McGrath powder. And then we'll go ahead and go into bronzer. This is the new Patrick Ta bronzer. It's the duo. If you saw in my last Sephora haul, if you haven't seen that, I'll have it linked right up here. Um, I got this and it was just way too dark, but we're gonna try it anyways. I do wanna try the cream bronzer today. I And the cream bronzer is right up here. It's very, very dark, but I'll try to have like a super light hand with it. So this bronzer is very sheer. I was honestly expecting it to be like crazy pigmented or like way too dark, but it is, very light actually which I'm happy about I'm really relieved but I kind of is it me I kind of can't see it it's so light I can see it a little bit up here but like I kind of can't see it you guys or like does it look gray like this is so odd maybe it's just because the foundation shade is so off from my normal skin tone. Maybe it's making the bronzer look weird. That could totally be happening. So I will need to try this bronzer again when I have the different shade of that foundation. I can see it like a little bit right here, but it, I feel like it's just making my, my cheeks look gray. I don't know, that's so strange. I genuinely think it's just because my foundation shade is away is just so off that I cannot see the bronzer. Like I just can't see it. I can see it here, but it looks gray. But I do have blush, and I have this one from Bare Minerals. It is the Gend 
gin nude glonzer and so it's supposed to be like a blush and a bronzer at the same time um, but for me I just think of just beautiful cream blush when I see this this one is in the shade kiss of pink and it is just so beautiful so we're gonna be using that today just oh my gosh I I already love this I love that that just went on so effortlessly well I love that blush holy sh Whew! I love that that is so beautiful well that formula you guys is amazing I love that blush that has probably one of my favorite cream blushes that I've used in a while besides my milk cosmetics blush because I know I love that um, but wow I love this this is wonderful holy crap that's so beautiful and I feel like that has kind of helped with the um, foundation shade as well it looks a bit better now so that's nice um, as for my bronzer I don't have any new ones to try not bronzer highlighter I'm just gonna use a little bit of my hourglass I haven't really been using much highlighter these past couple of weeks or so just because I keep forgetting to use it <laughs> So now I am going to quickly go ahead and do my brows off camera and then we'll come back and we'll finish up the rest of the face. See you in a minute. Hi, I'm back. Okay, so I went ahead and did my liner, lashes, and mascara. I have some new lashes to show you as well. I totally forgot. Um, I found these from Amazon. I actually heard about these from uh, Delaney Childs on Instagram and she does like those like super like just the lashes on the outer on the outer corners here and that's what I've been doing mostly with like my Lily Lashes uh, goddess over here but I have been trying to figure out how to like cut the lashes to where you just put them in the outer corners and they still look good because sometimes I feel like I have a harder time with that I don't know why but she linked these lashes from Amazon and they worked really really well let me go grab a fresh pair here are what they look like they are called the silk cherry blossom lashes i got mine in the shade or in the style uh 902 and then i actually basically cut them in half i not directly in half i did a little more uh out towards the outer corner and i kept a little a little more of the outer corner lash <laughs> but I believe it was $14 and they come in a pack of 12 so you get 12 of them for 14 bucks which is really really good and I actually really like them I think they look really good I like the outer corner part so I'm into that as for my bottom lash line we're gonna go back into the good as gold palette right here and I am going to go into the brown shade right here gold rush one more time I'm gonna go into that and then just kind of put that on my lower lash line. My dog got a haircut today and she didn't go to the groomers because last time she went to the groomers, she's been to the groomers one time and that was the only time because when she went to the groomers the first time, the groomer cut her with scissors and that probably traumatized her a bit. And then, so I've never taken her back to the groomers. I've just been doing her hair myself. When she lets me do it, it's fine. But I found this like shaver from Amazon, like an actual shaver for dogs. And I gave her like a proper haircut. It came with a bunch of stuff. It was so great. It came with like professional scissors. It came with like an undercoat kind of comb thing it was great and then the shaver was awesome she actually had quite a bit of matting going on because I didn't brush her every day like I should have so she got a lot of matting I'm um, not all over her as you can see she still has all of her hair on top most of the matting was like on her butt and like on her legs and stuff so I had to shave her butt and shave her legs but other than that she she's great and she got like a little puppy cut situation and looks really cute <laughs> but she is very upset with me that I um, gave her a haircut so now she is feeling very sorry for herself <laughs> but um, I'm gonna give her a lot of extra love it'll be fine okay we're basically almost done here as for my lips I don't think I have a new lip product actually so I'm just gonna do a basic lip color I'm going to go in with my Pat McGrath Luqua Liss Luqua nope Liquilust <laughs> uh, lipstick in the shade Divine Rose. Uh, am I? 
I don't know, maybe since this is very brown. Instead, I am gonna go in with this NARS um, Power Matte Liquid Lipstick, and this is in the shade Slow Ride. I feel like this will look better because it's more brown, and I feel like I have like a brownie gold situation going on, so. It's such a pretty color. Like, it's so nice. Okay. Wow. Okay, and I think I might need to put a gloss on. I'm gonna regret this later, but I'm gonna put on a little bit of my uh, Too Faced Lip Injections Extreme Plumping Lip Gloss. This stuff actually works wonders, and it's kind of crazy, but it hurts. I'm being dramatic. It hurts for like five minutes, but... Anyways, you guys, this is the completed look that we did get today with the full face of first impressions that we did use. I have to say, I am actually obsessed the way that this came out. Um, I really, really have enjoyed this foundation from um, KVD Vegan Beauty. I think that I will like it even more when I have my proper shade, but right now, I feel like I look really good like I feel like my skin looks great it is a bit more cakey than I'm used to but then again it's a foundation instead of like a CC cream or a tinted moisturizer so it's to be expected but I still think this looks really nice this palette was fantastic I actually really really love this look I know that I was just hating on uh, yellow the entire time in the beginning but I really love the way this look came out like I feel like I need to like do this look more often because I really really like it. Um, this right here has to be one of my favorite cream blushes that I've used in quite some time. Again, I know I said I still love that melt cream blush. I still do, but this one is definitely a second for me. Like I love this. I've got a kiss of pink and I also got a kiss of copper as well. So I'll use that one at some point too, but I love this. All in all, I thought today was a really, really successful try-on, like a successful first impression, so I'm really into it. But yeah, I really hope that you did enjoy it. If you did, then go ahead and click up the like button for me and the subscribe if you want to. If you want to see other videos that I post and when I post them, click the little bell down at the bottom there and make sure you set it to all so that YouTube knows that you want to see my videos. Again, my name is Kenzie. I hope you have a great rest of your day and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye!